And it seems to be an issue every time we get a stretch of warm weather. Safety when it comes to dirt bikes. News Channel 9's Casey Honigbaum spoke with Syracuse police about what they are doing to make sure your streets and neighborhoods are safe. As the spring months start rolling in, so do the wheels of dirt bikes around central New York. But along with that comes concern for safety. One of the biggest complaints we get as a police department is the ATV and dirt bike issue that's going on in our city. When that picks up, we're going to have several things in place, and that's getting trespass statements from the businesses there so they can't hang out in the parking lots. And then traffic details or regular patrols in the area to try to stop the cars. It's not only illegal, it's dangerous. Driving it down the city streets, on sidewalks and through people's yards is just something that we can't tolerate as a community. You're putting other vehicles at risk, you're putting children at risk, you're putting yourself at risk. Well, with the warmer weather quickly approaching, one of the areas that sees a lot of this is right here, Erie Boulevard, most specifically drag racing up and down the streets. And it's something that Lieutenant Malinowski says poses a difficult situation for officers. People have to understand, though, it's still a unique issue because most people know they can drive fast enough and reckless enough to get away from us. We live in an era now where we don't engage in many police chases unless it's for a serious crime, and that's really to protect the community. And even if we had the fastest police cars, we don't engage in chases like that. They're very reckless, but they're also able to drive through front yards, backyards, and through parks, which we're not going to be doing. That's why the police department is asking for you to step in. Not so much. Don't tell us where they're riding them. We need to really know where these ATVs are being stored. So if you know they're behind, 213 Main Street or whatever the address is. That helps us because then we can go to that house and we can get the dirt bike where they're at. And for those riding the bikes... We don't want to take your dirt bike, so please just do it in a safe and legal way. In Syracuse, Casey Honigbaum, News Channel 9.